What if I told you that China just unveiled a floating wind turbine so massive, it's left the world in awe? Meet Qi Hong, a 20 megawatt behemoth that's redefining renewable energy. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a groundbreaking development in sustainable energy. China has launched Qi Hong, the world's largest floating wind turbine, marking a significant leap in offshore wind technology. Developed by the China Railway Construction Corporation, Qi Hong boasts a rotor diameter of 853 feet, about the length of seven football fields, and stands 495 feet above the sea. Each rotation of its massive blades can power a household for two to four days. E Compared to other prototypes like Envision Energy's 16.7 megawatt and Dongfeng Electric's 18 megawatt turbines, Qi Hong outperforms them by a considerable margin, positioning China as a leader in the offshore wind sector. Before we delve deeper, if you're passionate about renewable energy and technological advancements, make sure to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. Stay updated with the latest in sustainable innovations. Constructing and transporting a turbine of this magnitude wasn't without challenges. After its assembly in Shenyang, Jiangsu, Qi Hong was transported to the Shandong Dongying Wind Equipment Testing Base using a self-propelled modular transport unit. Engineers have tested its stability and performance in real-world marine conditions, ensuring it withstands extreme weather and ocean currents. Environmentally, Qi Hong is a game-changer. It's expected to save approximately 27,500 tons of coal and reduce carbon emissions by 68,500 tons annually. Beyond its environmental impact, the turbine symbolizes economic opportunity, reducing reliance on fossil fuels and creating jobs in the renewable energy sector. Qi Hong isn't just a technological marvel, it's a testament to what's possible when innovation meets sustainability. What are your thoughts on this monumental achievement? Share your opinions in the comments below. For more details, check out the full article linked in the first comment below.